everyone. So today I wanted to create a video for you guys sharing two of my very favorite perfumes. So let's get to it. A little bit of history. So growing up, I had always been very into uh, really light, airy, fresh scents. As I've gotten older, I've started gravitating towards deeper scents, not, uh, you know, nighttime spicy type of scents, but woodsier, earthier scents. I never had a signature fragrance. I would like something for a while, and then I would be ready to try something new and move on. But these two fragrances really feel like me. It doesn't matter if it's daytime or nighttime, whatever the season, they just feel appropriate. So my very first fragrance is Sofia by Sofia Vergara. And before I even talk about the scent, like can we talk about the bottle? It's cut in like this emerald shape cut and it just feels so good to the touch. Uh, it's just one of those, you just wanna rub your hands all over it. And I mean, I don't know about you, but this <laughs> that means something to me. I'm not even, I'm gonna be a freak on here, like rubbing my perfume bottle in front of you guys. I should get a room. Anyhow, uh, this perfume, it's a feminine scent. It's feminine, but it's not super florally or really sweet. Uh, it's really well balanced. There's not too much of anything. So um, as far as the notes go, it's got blackberry, black currant, sparkling cassis. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, the heart or the mid-tones are plum, rose, violet, and orchid. And the base notes are woods, vanilla and sandalwood so it has this really soft finish i don't know exactly what the sparkling casa smells like but it feels almost like a bit citrusy like it cuts through the deeper notes and just adds that element of freshness that i like i get tons of compliments when i wear this scent i think it's a little bit mysterious as well it's feminine but it's you know, it's got like this depth that is like, who are you and what are you about? You know, I like that sort of thing. <laughs> I talk too much. So at least if my scent could give me some sort of mystery, then that's great. Um, yeah, so anyhow, this is one of my absolute favorite, favorite scents. It's not expensive. You can find it at any of the stores and I just love it. The second scent that I love and that I've had for many years is Rich Delice by Johan B. This scent, I stumbled across it at, um, at, a, at a mall. I was at a big mall in one of the kiosks in the center. The woman was just giving samples of scents and she let me try this scent and I fell in love with it. As I was like, this is, this is me. Anytime I wear this scent, it's like guaranteed compliments. Like, what is that? And this particular scent, I can't find it in, you know, like a, just any old store. They do sell them online and in some specialty perfume stores. The top notes are bergamot, grapefruit, ooh, and black currant. The middle notes are rose, red berries, and plum. And then the base note, is vanilla, musk, and cedar. And I love men's scents and I've been known to wear them. And this for me feels sort of like a middle ground between the two. And if you're not a big fan of sweetness, the plum and the red berries, don't get like turned off by that and be like, oh no, I'm not going there. Um, the rose overpowers those and it just gives it some dimension. This scent lasts a really long time as well. And the bottle is just, you know, big and heavy and pretty. I like pretty things. So anyway, I hope that you check these out. Um, I don't know if I've left anything out that I wanted to say, but you know, whatever, I'm doing it. I can't wait to get more of this so I can... <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, are you one of those people? I'm one of those people who probably puts on just way too much. I'm like, all right, here and here and here and here. And then I'm like in behind my knees and then my ankles. And then I need a little around the chest and maybe my midsection. If you like this video, please like and comment. Uh, if you try any of these out, please let me know what you think. And um, I will see you next time. Bye.